Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus Summon Old Guy Gaming. And in this episode, we are going to get our water pipes laid. Um, I decided I just want to keep working on, on, on that at least before we go do a mission. Um, so bear with me if you would. I know we've been doing a lot of base building episodes back to back. I try and mix things up a little bit, but I think we just really need to get that done because it's kind of holding us up on some other things like, you know, getting the the greenhouse glass made and that sort of thing okay so with that being said let's go ahead and grab our pipe tool which we have here and i think i think we're also going to need our wiring tool as well do i did i put that back in here where the heck is my wiring tool it's not in there uh oh it's it's in my inventory sorry <laughs> i just didn't see it up there okay so let's see here we want to go out to our pump house oh um do i have i don't think we i think we only ever had one water pump so we actually need to make a couple of more because i want to have a total of three so let's see what we need to make the water pumps it looks like we have just about everything except for the steel ingots um, so I think I might have some steel lingus up here. If not, we made a bunch of steel bloom in the last episode. Yeah, there are no steel, steel ingots in there. So let's take a look in here, maybe. Um, why is that not activated? Ah, oh, crap. I must have, um, reset the power or something, or refueled the power and forgot to turn that back on. That kind of sucks okay well let's go over here then and yeah we did make a bunch of steel bloom so we'll grab all of that out of there guess we'll leave the rest of that in there for the moment and we'll put this in here and we want to put the steel bloom f first so it is the first thing to uh, be made okay so it's going to take 24 steel ingots per water pump so we need a total of 48 made we're also going to need more concrete but looks like we're okay on steel screws and electronics let's go see what our concrete situation is here you know though we might be able to get away at least for the time being uh, we might be able to get away with just two water pumps for all of our needs we shall see. So we'll put this concrete in here. And uh, yeah, so as soon as we get 24 steel ingots, we'll make that. Uh, but we should be able to get started with laying the pipe, though, because I'm going to assume that we can also uh, converge the water lines uh, among or the water rather among multiple pipes of course in real life um it's a little bit a little bit different than electrical wires but even though well actually not really though because the concept's similar the electrical wires can only handle so much voltage too depending upon the gauge um and water pipes can only handle so much you know water flow so not sure really how that works in this game I'm going to assume at this point that we can run one main water line and then, you know, run off of that. But if that's not the case, um, then, you know, we will we'll figure it out. Then we'll have to run separate lines. Okay, so that being the case, what we'll do is uh, we're going to need to go underneath here. probably get attacked by a bazillion piranhas while we're down here. Right, I don't see anybody else coming. Um, so what we'll do is let's grab our tool and we're going to why is that not connecting this? Uh, looks like it's already connected. 
So we're going to need to make, uh, just kind of like we did with the electricity, we're going to need to make a junction for the others to connect to. Uh, it's kind of hard to, it's really hard to get this straight too because, you know, the water moves us around. So I guess we'll go to there. And then what we'll do is... Uh, when we get the other pump or pumps online, we'll connect them to this little node right here. Okay, so let's connect into that. And again, we're just gonna essentially do the same thing we did with the electrical wiring. Um, maybe bring it to there. Like I said, it's really hard to, to do this perfectly straight because you know, of the drift in the water. But let's do that there. And then we'll come up this way, just like we did before. And we'll do another junction right here. And then we'll do one on the wall right here. Like so. Okay, now, what we need to determine is, let's get up the ladder here. We still have the pipe connected, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. Let's go around this direction. Um, so it looks like... Pipe maybe kind of comes up straight right up to about there. What we might be able to do is make a node right here because that seems to be pretty straight there, except for hmm, it's going to be sticking up to the window, though, is the only thing I don't like about that. So, for example, if I connect a pipe to there and then connect it, say, to that, it sticks out and it doesn't look good. So, that's not going to work for me. So, let's disconnect that. We might need to temporarily move this. You know what we could do is we could we could bring the an initial input up through here because we have the power over on this side, but I don't know that I want to run the water next to the power. So it might be better to run the water up this direction. So with that being said, let's disconnect that. And we'll come back out here. And then it's just a matter of figuring out exactly where we want to run this over. I think it's along that beam there. So if we connect to this, uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Bring that up to there. And then bring it over to here. And then we can bring it straight up that way. Okay, I think that's what we want to do there. Yeah, that's about right. So let's just put the the node there in coming into the house. That should work. Okay, we're gonna want one going upstairs. So let's bring this uh, straight up to about there ish. 
and we also want to connect from here into here and we need another one from here into here there um, wait why didn't that connect oh it's because I don't have the I don't have the water pump running that's why uh, speaking of which we need to run power to that water pump and we should have enough steel to make uh, the first pump here no not there here okay, so let's make a second water pump and I'm gonna hold off on making the third one until uh, until and or unless we realize that we need a third one. So let's just put this pump in here. Um, uh oh. Are you going to give me grief? Oh crap, okay, so that's that's a bit of a problem. Um, it's not gonna work in there. It, uh, oh, it just barely fits right there. Just barely. Need to move over that way. Okay. Whoops. I had it for a second and then I misclicked. Cool. Okay. So now what we need to do is let's go down underneath here for a second. And we have our, our wiring tool. So what we want to do for that is we want to... Uh, we can run off of that node there. To that pump. Um, actually, no. Hold on. I don't want to do it like that. Oh, get out of here, man. Well, can I? Disconnect. Yeah, look from there. Okay, let's do this instead. Let's let's go off of here and right to the middle, and then we'll connect this one into there, and then this one. Well, it's not very straight, is it? You know what? I think it's fine. It's it's not going to be directly visible, so... And then we'll connect out of there into there. And then if we put a third one in here, then we'll just run a third one off of that socket. I don't think I'm going to get too picky about that because it's just... It's kind of just the way the game works. It's, it's really difficult to make those super nice and neat. And, you know, they're not... They're not going to be visible to us anyways. Um, so, you know, it's not like they're an eyesore or anything. Okay, so both of these pumps are... Uh, oh, we need to run a, a pipe off of this one. Okay. Let's get our piping tool. Connect that to there and run it into there. Okay. That should be good. Good. Okay. So both of these are pumping water. Between the two of them, we have um, 2,000 uh, units being pumped. 2,000, what? I don't know. Cubic centimeters per second or <laughs> however you figure that out. Okay, good. 
So now this has water and this has water. The marble kitchen thingy doesn't need water. That doesn't need water. That doesn't. That doesn't. This doesn't. This does, however. Okay, so... Neither one of those use water either. So to get water to you in a neat fashion, you're going to need water too. I don't think any of these guys need water. What about you? Nope. Nope. And nope. Okay, so we need to get water over to the masonry bench neatly. And we need to get water to the biofuel compound, uh, composter neatly. So, um, how do we want to accomplish that? If I were to pick this, temporarily pick this piece of floor up, uh, that might cause this to collapse. I don't know. I'm thinking we should probably do the same kind of idea that we did with the power where we run it along the side of the ceiling there. Um, we could maybe run the water along this side, but we'd have to make sure that it got underneath the stairs. Because that would definitely be an eyesore. The other thing we could do is try and run it along like maybe this beam here. And then down to the masonry bench. And also down to here. So I'm kind of favoring that idea. Let's give that a try. So we're going to... What do we got? Severe winds. Okay. So if we connect to this. And then connect to here. And then... Okay, we can go over a little bit further than that, I think. Maybe to here. All right. And then what we'll do is we'll go to here. And then we want to go... No, don't do that. No, don't do that. To here and then maybe to here. Okay, and then we'll come off of here and can go all the way over to here. And then bring this down to here and then into there. Um, did that actually work though? Let's have some pie. And we'll have some fish curry too. Do we actually have fish curry in here? Yes, we do. Let's eat this in here first because it's going to go bad more quickly. All right, so is this connected? Yes, that's got water. That does not. So I'm thinking I might not have actually connected that. So let's try this again. Now it does. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it kind of, it's, I guess it's okay. Again, it just kind of depends upon how picky we want to get with this. Because this, I know this looks a little jank. Ah, oh, shit. I guess we'd have to move this back more for that to work better. So let's see. Um, what if we go to here? And then down to there? Maybe even back a little further. Okay. Um, 
how about right there and then down to there? Oh, that looks terrible also. Okay, um, this might be a situation where we just can't really do much about the way it's going to connect. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back to about there, run this one back to here. Oh wow, now that one doesn't reach, so that means we were even further over. Okay, well then let's just do this. We'll start, we'll stop it here and then connect it into here. Does that get us back to water here? Yes, it does. And then that will come down to there. I think we're just going to have to live with that, you guys, because... I mean, it sticks out here a little bit, but if we go back any further, then we just got this big, ugly, you know, arc of pipe in here, and I'm not, I don't know how to make that work better than, it, than it's currently working. So I think we're going to have to call that good for now. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so let's see. That's got water. This doesn't use water, right? So I think we have everything downstairs plumbed up that requires water. None of these workbenches do. All right, so now let's go ahead and start working upstairs. So we will connect to you. And, um... Oh man, that's like sticking way up too, isn't it? For Pete's sake. I wish the game wouldn't do this. I, I wish it would let us make like 90 degree connections off of these, you know, off of these um, breakout boxes. So I guess to fix this, we're going to need to not bring it up all the way to the top. Oops. So maybe we bring it up to about there. And then go to... Did that connect? Yeah, I guess it did to there and then bring this one straight up uh, I'm probably gonna have to remove this bench temporarily and of course it's got all this hide and shit in it room for this in here for now. Yeah. Yeah, let's pick this up just to get it out of the way for the moment. that again. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Damn it, Jim. You're connected. Okay. Okay, so now what we'll do is um, we've got two things we need to bring the water to. I think. Does this need water? No. That 
also doesn't need water, but this does and this does. So I think what we'll do is we'll put that there and then we'll run it. Here and then here and then to this, and we'll also run a line off of here to here. Okay, so that's got water and that's got water. That doesn't look too terribly bad. I don't think any of this requires water. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so we should be able to put the electric textiles, uh, textiles bench back in place now. Um, why didn't I run power to this? Remember, maybe it's because we don't need power there for repairs, which is the main reason why I actually still have this out. We need it to repair our armor, and I don't think we have to have it powered up for repairs. Could be wrong about that. Um, and if we do need power, I mean, you know, we can always run it later as needed. Got a few more ropes. Okay, cool. So that um, that gets us all plumbed up for in the house. We still also need to get the garden, though, uh, plumbed up as well. So that means we need to run a water line out there. We should, we should and could be able to just probably run off of this line here, I'm thinking. Yeah, no reason not to. So... Oh, I still have a couple of stacks of leather in my inventory. Let's move those into here. Whoop. Okay, so let's um, connect to this little node here. And we want to run that... Hmm. Alright, why don't we get that up? And can I pick this up without breaking anything? Yes, I can. Okay, good. I'll connect into there. And bring this down to here. And then we'll bring this down. It's not going to go any further than that. Alright, let's connect it down there then. good okay then I think we can put these foundations back now beautiful okay let's think about how this is gonna go now um, we basically need to create like a manifold and then have the water pipes go up into the crop pots from down below. Um. Okay. First step is to get the pipe over there. 
So we'll get the pipe tool here. We'll connect into you. If we can hold still for a minute. There we go. Okay, let's bring it. And then we will bring it to and this is the where's the center of this thing? Right here's the center. Right in the middle of that. All right, where's that damper on it? Okay, so then it's just going to be a matter of connecting everything, uh, all the crop plots up above. But I don't. I think there's. I'm sure there's a maximum number of connections that you can put on each one of these things. I'm not sure what that connection limit is. So why don't we do this? Why don't we connect to you and we'll come over to there. We'll do the same thing on this side. We'll come right to the center of there. We'll do the same thing here. So we'll come off of that node and go to there. Come off of this one and go to here. Okay. And then let's Continue from this one to the center of here, and then one to the center of here, and one coming off to the center of here. Okay, so hopefully that will give us enough nodes to get everything connected. Now the tricky part to this is going to be making the actual connections. And so let's go ahead and sleep so we can get some daylight. And I'm also going to swap out this for that. And I want to also make some reinforced glass. That's what I'm talking about. Reinforced glass. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to need more epoxy and iron. We only have enough to make one of those so far. Okay. You know what? I'm going to worry about that later, though. Uh, we're not going to tackle the greenhouse in this episode. Uh, I want to finish up the, the water pipes first. Okay. Uh, so, let's sleep. Uh, we're going to need some more wood for our fireplace. And let's close the door, too. Good morning. Good morning, sunshine. All right. Now. Here's what I'm thinking we might do. Are these... Here, let's do this. Let's harvest these. And... I'm going to temporarily... Let's put those in there. I'm going to temporarily pick these middle ones up. What I'm not sure is if two pumps 
we'll be able to handle this entire load, but we will find out. All right, so now we can pick that block up. We cannot, however, pick up any of the other blocks. Hmm. Okay, so... Uh, well, actually, no, we could pick this one up. I don't know how much that's going to help us, though. But we can't pick up any of the other ones or we'll lose the crop loss that they're currently on. So can I... Hmm. Okay, let's get down here. Let's get our, wa uh, our pipe tool. And connect to that. Now, can I connect to the mushrooms? Okay, yep, that worked. Okay, grab another one. And connect to, whoops. I might need to create a temporary ramp going back up this way. Because this, you know, trying to do this while I'm bouncing in the water is going to be very difficult. So why don't we do that? Let's go get a ramp. Right here. We'll just do a, a use a stone ramp. stairs. That's fine, too. It doesn't matter. That way we can get back up here. Okay. Now, let's connect to you. And then connect to you. Okay. This will probably work. And then we'll connect again to you. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. And connect to you. And that gets those three connected. All right, let's do the same thing on this side. Sorry it's dark here, but my lantern goes out every time I go in the, under the water. Connect that one. That one. And that one. Okay. And we will just wash, rinse, and repeat here. Okay, so we have everything watered except for the center. So what I think we can do is let's put this piece back in place I don't remember what direction I was supposed to go but I don't think it matters anyway and um, then what we'll do here is just well we're gonna we have to put the crop plots back in first so let's do that next should be able to just come off the center node here. Hopefully it'll give us enough connections. If it doesn't, we can probably connect off of one of the other side ones. I'm, uh, I'm surprised that it's letting us actually connect this mini, but it is. Maybe there isn't a limit on those. Nope. Oh. Alright, look at that. 
Let's double check. Make sure everything is watered. Looks good. Okay, we'll put this piece back. And uh, then we just need to replant the soybeans. We'll put this fish in there. Let's grab those two things out of there. We'll put these in here. Um, I got a lot of fertilizer here, but we need to make the the advanced chemistry bench first or the chemistry bench first before we can make the good fertilizer which uh, that's why i'm storing all that up let's take a drink of water um why is it that oh yeah water right never mind we need to eat again and we need four of these Put the bones in here and make some crushed bones. Spoiled meat can go in here. And let's get the soybeans planted. Voila! All right, we did it. I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm gonna go back and check in back in the house and make sure all of the equipment in the house also still has plenty of water to make sure we're not overloading the system. I'll pick these right now. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, so you still have water. Um, you still have water. You have water. You have water. You have water and you have water. So it looks like two water pumps is enough to support our current consumption. If we end up adding more, you know, stuff later in the future, the cool thing is that we have room for expansion. Uh, you know, with a third water pump right in here. I like it. I like it. Turned out pretty good. Okay, guys, so I think that concludes... No, it doesn't. I still want to make more of these rails and get them around the edge of our wraparound porch here. Well, we need to cover that too. But after that, I think we're done with the base. Um, I don't really have any additional plans for it. And uh, yeah, I, I really like the way it's come together. Now, we still need to build a barn, so that's the next thing on the list in terms of building. But um, we will go ahead and take the next episode or three or however long it takes and we'll do another mission just to kind of again mix things up i know i've been like i said doing a lot of building lately um on the series but i like the way things have, have come together on the base um so far and uh, i hope you guys have you know enjoyed it too and haven't been too i, I i'm gonna say amy's working again guys <laughs> seems to be working a lot better anyways um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed, you know, these back-to-back -back building episodes, you know, with the way the bases come together. But like I said, we will mix it up and we will, um, we'll do some missions, uh, in the next, you know, upcoming episodes and, uh, then go from there. Then we'll, we will come back here later. Uh, we still need to get, I, I still want to actually make a real, an actual greenhouse with, you know, the reinforced glass and we need to build a barn. Those are the two things I have left on the, the to-do list for this series in terms of this base here. Um, there was some talk a while ago about us maybe, you know, doing a base underneath the